Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to flash your GPU BIOS. Now before we start, I want to put a warning on this. This can be very dangerous and you can totally brick your card. In other words, you can totally break your card to where it's not usable at all. So I don't recommend you do this unless you absolutely have to. And as a safety precaution, I'm going to show you how to back up your BIOS. But that doesn't really help unless you have two BIOSes. So like my GPU has two BIOS so I can just flip the switch and I have go to BIOS 1 or BIOS 2. So if I screw up BIOS 1, I could always go to BIOS 2 and then refix BIOS 1. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now the reason why I want to do this video is some people are buying GPUs off of eBay for example like I did. And the problem I had with my GPU is after about a day I would get a driver issue so I'd have to uninstall restart reinstall the driver and at the same time reinstall the chip start set driver restart and then switch the BIOS switch back to its original position just to fix it but after a day the driver will crash again and even though I was running it at stock clocks and voltages so it wasn't working so I've been running it about three days now after I flashed the BIOS and it's been working just fine so let's go ahead and show you that. And also what I noticed is that my graphics card was only running at 1244 stock when it should have been boosting to 1340 when you put a load on it. So it wasn't doing that. But once I flashed the BIOS to the original version, it started working like how it should. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google, type in ATI Flash, go to Tech Power Up site. You go ahead and hit this download button right here and then I saved it into a folder yeah. so extract it to a folder and then you open up this file here and it's going to give you this error message meaning that you have to run it as an administrator so right click and hit run as administrator okay so once you're on this screen here the first thing you want to do is save your BIOS for example I save my right BIOS and then you also want to maybe shut down the computer and if you have a second BIOS on your graphics card hit the switch on the GPU and then start up the computer again and then back up your left BIOS so you hit save and then I just saved it to these uh, these folders here so after you saved you can then load image which is then I'm going to show you how to get the BIOS so loading image is actually the BIOS part so for example, I have a RX 570 Sapphire Nitro Plus, and I'm going to type in BIOS Tech Power Up. Then I'm going to scroll down here and hit Find Compatible BIOS, and as you can see, they only made two 570s here, an 8 gig and a 4 gig. I have an 8 gig, so obviously I have this one here. So this is mine. So then I'll just hit download now and this is the file here. Now let's say for example you have a 580. For example, you go down here and hit find compatible BIOS. Now you can see that there's like seven different options. So you got to figure out which one's yours. So you have to go to the the manufacturer's uh, website so like Sapphire for example if you have the same GPU and find out like which depending on like what model number you got what clock speeds it was supposed to be running at but for me it's pretty simple to choose because you know there's only two options here an 8 gig and a 4 gig so I know which one's mine so this one's mine so once you've done that and I saved it to the desktop and here's the file then you hit load image and that's gonna flash the BIOS so you load this this file here. You hit load image and you load this file. So it's going to flash the BIOS and then it's going to ask you to restart the computer. And then after you restarted the computer, you should be running on the new BIOS and that's all you have to do. And then once I'm on, uh, on the new BIOS, I then opened up this program again and then obviously saved the new BIOS right here as you can see. So as you can see, I haven't flashed the left BIOS. I only flashed the original BIOS, which is the right. And that's all you have to do. 
So now that I flashed my BIOS and my GPU is working correctly, I'm going to be doing a overclocking part 2 now. So if you like to stay tuned, I'm going to be overclocking my GPU. Because I have not done that on the new BIOS. And I'm going to do this live. So this might take another 20-30 minutes. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to overclock again. But this time I'm going to do it like show you actually how to do it. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this time I'm going to use MSI Combustor, which you can just go to, I don't have Firefox open, just go to MSI, after, just type in MSI Afterburner. You'll find it, and you go to Downloads, and it's right here. So I'm going to use this, this thing this time because, as you can see, there's an artifact checker. So I kind of want to try this, this out. So we're going to be mostly trying out this program to see if it's any good. So right now, as you can see, it's, you know, it's doing what it's doing. Uh, my temp uh, limit is 74. If we open up uh, MSI Afterburner. That's another thing with the MSI Afterburner. Is you can overclock with this. But I'm going to be mostly doing my overclocking with, the, with Wattman for Radeon. But if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and you flashed your NVIDIA... Uh, driver now you don't really probably have to flash your NVIDIA driver because most people probably aren't mining on those and otherwise they're not modding the BIOS usually they're doing that on AMD graphics cards but let's say if you had an NVIDIA and you flashed your thing and you're probably going to want to use MSI Afterburner for overclocking but as you can see now in this program it's not quite hitting the 1340 but if I run like heaven it's going to hit 1340 so you can see now my uh, GPU at stock is actually boosting to 1340 like it should but as you can see, my uh, my uh, milliwatts is going all the way up to about 1150. So now at stock, I'm actually getting more uh, more power consumption though. And on here it doesn't tell me power. Let me full screen this. It's kind of hard to read because I have this MSI thing in the way. Uh, it's using yeah, about 160 watts stock right now. So I kind of want to fix that. So I want to know what's the lowest undervolt I can get. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to do my overclocking in Wattman, so I'm not going to use MSI Afterburner. So first things first, since we're undervolting, we don't have to up the power limit. So I'm going to leave it at 1340. And we're going to just start off with a big, a big change. We're going to start with 1100. And I'm going to use Tech. Uh, GPU Z. Actually, actually, I kind of want MSI open because I can, I want to see how low the power consumption goes. So actually, I'll just leave both of these open. But I want to use this so I can monitor the voltages. So right now, you know, when it's idling, it's at 900. And when I was running at 1244, 900 was about as low as I can go. So we're at 1100. So I. I dropped it by 50 and you might want to also drop the other ones as well but we're not going to touch that right now so make sure this is 1440 and I don't want to run in full screen I do want this on so let's go ahead and run so let's see oh where's my clock speed where my clock speed go there it is. Okay. Oh, interesting. Power consumption is still the same, but my clock speed went down. Okay, so what's going on now? Where's, where's GPU? Where did that go? Yeah, it was only going as high as 1100. Like, so sometimes goes 25 lower than what I put. But why did my, uh, Maybe I do have to up the power limit. Let's try it. Whoa, I can up the power limit all the way to 50 now? Oh, shoot. I, did, I just noticed that. Yeah, see, before when I wasn't on the stock BIOS, I was only able to go up to 20. So now that I'm able to go to 50, pretty much if I were to overclock to like 1450 again, I should definitely be able to keep that. So yeah, just that's perfectly safe to slide that all the way to the right. So let's see if that made a difference. Should I just put this in 720 again? I'll just leave it for now. 
Yeah, see, up in the power limit, let me go up. But where's, where's our voltages at? 1100? About 1100. I don't think the power consumption went down. Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing any artifacts. It's not, well, I, I, I'm not seeing any artifacts, but I don't know. I haven't really tried this program, but it's, so far it's not saying I got any. And it didn't crash on me, so we're, I guess we're going good. So let's lower this by another 50. And I'm, and then from there, I'm going to go from 20s. And I might have to do this just to be able to hit apply. So now we're at 1050 now. I'm going to run. Didn't crash right away. Okay, I think our power consumption went down. Yeah, about 10 watts now. Let's see, what are we getting? I might not be able to go as low as 900 because before I was at 1244. But I'm hoping I can at least get to 950. So yeah, it's using about 25 lower than 10 than what I put in, about 1050. Well, there's kind of jumped down to 20. Okay, 1340. And GPU Z is telling me right now about 150 watts as well. And any artifacts? Nope, doesn't say that I had any. Also, let's look at our FPS too, because when we, when I notice when we undervolted, we do lose like two or three frames. So like right now I'm at like 65. All right. Uh, so from here, ah, you know what? I'm lazy. I'm just gonna go another 50. Then we'll go by 20s. Cause I don't know at at 13.44 I might not be able to go lower than a thousand. Uh, run test. Uh, didn't crash right away and boom okay now we got much lower wattage now 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 there's a bigger difference in wattage and we should be going 25 lower than what I put in which is a thousand millivolts it's going as low as 970 nine, 970 nine, 950 millivolts or nine no or 975 millivolts I mean there's a I just saw a 987 I think I just saw a thousand here Okay, not telling me I'm getting any artifacts, so I might be able to overclock pretty quick. But yeah, now I'm starting to see a big wattage decrease. Now before I was able to save up to like 30 watts, and then maybe another additional 20 or 30 watts when playing a video game and putting radio on chill on. So let's go ahead, I guess that's good. Let's go ahead and start, now, now, I'm, now we're getting into the danger zone. So now we're just going to go by 20s. And I'm hoping it'll show me some artifacts, because once it starts artifacting, that means you're getting close to it being possibly crashing. So it's lower now. I have to double click right here just to get this back up. Yeah, well, before, it sometimes does go up. And that might be because, you know what, actually I'm going to fix something. Just because. But yeah, right now we're saving up to 20, 30 watts right now. No artifacts. So let me let me fix something here. I'm gonna put this at a thousand for now. That might make it crash though. Well, we're gonna find out. Cause that's probably why it's jumping up sometimes. All right, so we loaded by another 20 millivolts, saving about another five watts. So before it was like 130. Oh, 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 oh! Am I getting artifacts? I think it's giving me artifacts. I think I just yeah, I just saw some yeah, I'm I'm seeing artifacts. I just saw something. So yeah, it's get oh, this is actually a pretty good program. I can barely see. Oh, I just saw another artifact right here. 
black squares. But yeah, it's give it's reading as artifacts, so I guess that's the lowest I can go. Well, this program is actually pretty easy to overclock or undervolt. Um, let me uh let me uh reset this and then put this back at a thousand or nine or nine eighty. Why? So instead of touching those other ones that may have screwed it up. Well, I know if I uh, underclock it to 1244, we should, you know, I'll actually do that. We'll see if we can still get only down to 900. Because I didn't use this program before. I did it all by eye. I did it by my eye in heaven and then the other benchmarks. So, yeah, see, it's running fine now. So, I think 960 I got artifacts. And it was reading a lot of them, too. Oh, and I got to up the power limit. Make sure that's up. So that way it hit the 1340. Yep, it's it's re it's giving me artifacts. It's reading artifacts, but I'm not really seeing any right now. Not any big ones. Oh, there's a big one right there. I just saw a big one. Oh, there's another one. And then I just saw a line. Okay, so it's a pretty good program. So I'm not going to push it any further to, cr to make it crash. So yeah, okay. And our yeah, all right. So let's uh, so yeah, me lowering these numbers, I don't think that that affected it. So I guess 960, I can't go any lower than 960 at 1340. So not so good, but at least I can save 20 watts. I mean, 20 watts is 20 watts, and then we'll put ready on chill on on top of that's another 20 watts. So let's try uh, 9 970. When we did, uh, what was it, 960, we were getting artifacts right away. So, run this for at least 30 seconds. See, I'm not getting any artifacts right away. This might be also a better stress tester, too, to cause those artifacts. Oh, did I just get some? I think I just got six. I just got six. Up, oh, and then I just got some more, I guess. And I saw that one too. So this one's not that's not good. So let's go bump it up back to 980. So for a safe if I had to put it on a safe number, probably a thousand. And actually before when it was running at 1244, its stock millivolts was about 1050. And me being able to only go down to 900 is only 150 difference. So it being at 1150, I would say about a thousand. So another uh, 150. It's about as low as I can go. Why do I have to double click this every time? So let's wait another 30 seconds and see if I start getting some. Now, now I'm not gonna um, right now. I'm not gonna run this for 10 minutes. But later, once I, you know, if I, if I think like, let's say, what was it at right now? 980. If I run this for a minute and it seems kind of fine, then I'd recommend you run it for at least 10 minutes and see if it, if it's fine. Because obviously at 970, it took 30 seconds until we got an artifact. While at 960 millivolts, it was like right away. So I would say that's about as low as we can go. Not getting anything yet. So I'd run this for at least 10 minutes. And for serious, I'd probably run it for an hour to make sure that we're totally stable. Because we might not be stable. Right now we're stable, but we might not be stable in an hour after stressing it for an hour. But yeah, so that's about the lowest I can go. So later today, I'd run that for about an hour and see if we can keep the 980. If not, then I'll run it for another hour at like a thousand, for example. So let's go ahead and uh, underclock this back to 1244, which is what it's supposed to be at when it's not uh, GPU boosting to 1340. Let's see if we can still get back down to 900. And I'm just going to start at 980. Oh, it's going to go back to 12, 1245. That's fine. 
And our FPS is probably going to go down a little bit. Well, not really. Now, since we're still using the same millivolts, same wattage, so I want to see if we can still get as low as 900, because I didn't use this program last time, so maybe 900 wasn't actually stable. I kept it at 925, but I changed it back to stock, and I was still getting those driver issues, because the BIOS was changed. Uh, seems pretty good. Let's go ahead. So, yeah. I mean, it was good at 1340, so I guess it should be good at 1245. So let's see if we can go any lower. So what do we got? 980? So let's try 960 again. So 970 was giving us errors. Well, 960 was giving us errors right away at 1340. So let's see. This is enough voltage for this clock speed. We lost another mm, 5 watts. So 123 instead of 127 or 130. And we're not getting artifacts right away. So this leads me to believe that when I underclock it to 1245, I could probably go lower. Yeah, if I'm not getting it right away, we'll just end it. So 940. Yeah, see, when I underclock it, I can definitely probably run this a little lower. It is sometimes going up to 150. It might be because of those other ones. Yeah, so from here on out, I'm going to lower the other ones because we, we noticed that that wasn't the problem. Because I don't like the fact that it's jumping up to like 170. So let's just lower this to 1,000. So that way the power consumption just doesn't jump out of nowhere. Hopefully that fixes it. Now it's still jumping up sometimes. But almost as low as 115 now. And the FPS didn't really change much. So I might actually even keep it at 1245 just to save some wattage. I'm not going to show you how low I can get the clock speed and still keep the same FPS. I'm not going to do that today. Alright, uh, and this doesn't look like I'm getting any artifacts, so let's go even lower. So yeah, I was able to get to 900 last time. Now I don't know if uh, Wattman's going to let me go under 900. He might not let me. So I'm not getting any artifacts right away. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting any artifacts. Let's see if Wattman lets me go under 900, because I have a feeling it won't let me. No, oh, maybe it will. So I guess because I have the new BIOS, the, the, the stock BIOS, it might actually let me go under uh, eight nine hundred now. So before, so this this one I'm expecting some artifacts because GPU reads that it will be under twenty five lower than what I actually put in, which was eight eighty. So there was there's an eight sixty. Yeah, it's not because the eight eighty one was kind of my lowest. I forced the voltage at 881. Not getting any artifacts right away, which is interesting. Hopefully, I don't push it too much further and it crashes on me. I want to see artifacts before I see it crash. Well, let's put it this way since we lowered the megahertz by 100 then yeah, I guess 880 is going to be the lowest we can go. So I'm expecting some artifacting on this one. And you know what? I don't feel I don't feel safe with 860. So you know what? I'm going to put it on 870. Just, just because. I want to see if that does anything. I 
actually maybe if the fact that I put 870 in, I don't think it's actually going any lower. Well, maybe it is 101 watts. That seems kind of low. I'm not getting any artifacts right away. Okay, let's let's just bring this back down to. Let's just do eight. Eight. Did 870. So we'll go with the 850. But now that I got the stock bios, I I might be able to get as low as 850 or 800, like some people are supposed to be able to get at 1244 megahertz. I'm not sure if it's actually going. No, it's not actually letting me go under 900. I'm going to have to force it through MSI. Yeah, I see, I put 850 in, and it's technically reading 900 or that 8750. So, yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, it's not actually doing it. So, we'll bring this back to 900. But then we'll force it in MSI afterburner. So, since we're forcing it, we want this to go, let's go 20 minus. Alright, so let's try 20 minus. Oh, yep, getting artifacts. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, 1244 is still 900. Yeah, so me, me doing it by eye was actually correct. So let's bring this to, and which by the way, it does minus 18 on here, so it's actually uh, 881 from 900. See, 881. So let's try minus 10. So yeah, okay. Oh, I already saw an artifact, and it's reading as artifacts. Alright, so, yeah, okay. So, minus 10 don't work either. Let's do minus 5. Actually, I don't know if I hit the check mark. Did I hit the check mark? I may mean, not hit the check mark. Oh, got, got 2. Okay, so yeah, that's no good either. I'll just put that on 0 now and hit it run. So yeah, I think 900 at 1244 is the lowest I can go. So I'd run this for about an hour or two and see if it's stable. Because it might take more than 10, 30 seconds to get artifacts. So that's the lowest I can undervolt on 1244. So 900. So basically what I was able to get before I changed the BIOS back to stock. So 1244 is still, so 900 is still my lowest. And at 1340, about 980 was my lowest. So let's say if we over, so that means I have a feeling that our overclock is going to be the same. So if I go to 1450, I should be able to get that. So I was able to get that before. And I assume we can only go as low as 1130, like I was originally able to do. So as you can see, our power consumption also has went up. In fact, before it was 1150 even though it was only 1340 but it looks like it's using another 10 or 20 watts for some reason oh, did I just get an artifact? no? I don't know, I thought I saw that number move by the way, since we overclocked it is this the average by the way, 969? I've been looking at this I don't think, see our FPS didn't really go up so I don't think overclocking the actual GPU clock is really beneficial I really just overclocked the memory because that's free yeah, I'm not getting any artifacts, so that's what it would run if I overclocked it to that. So before, I was only able to get 1130. And I was done by I on, on Heaven Benchmark. So let's see if this picks up any artifacts. So yeah, overclocking with this program is really quick and easy. And I can prevent my computer from crashing. Because I'm pretty sure if you were to run Heaven, you probably would get a crash before you actually see an artifact. Oh, I can actually hear my GPU fans ramping up now. Wow, 
down. Actually, they are ramping up. Where's the MSI Afterburner? What is this one? Whoa, GPU is running at 41%. Band speed. Yeah, it's getting pretty hot. Well, the good news is it's, it's ramping up the speed. That's good. Yeah, I'm not getting any artifacts, so let's bump it down. So I probably should see artifacts like this, is, I'm, is what I'm assuming. So yeah, this is going to be really quick. Uh, I don't know if it does. Oh, where did they go? Here it is. Not getting any artifacting right away. Interesting. So I put in what? What did I put in? Eleven ten. It's actually on here. It's reading it going as low as like forty lower than what I tell it to. On here. Hmm. Not even any artifacting, actually. Hmm. Right, well, obviously, we'd have to run that a little longer to see if it's actually stable. So I guess I guess we'll drop it down. I know last time it didn't crash until like 1060. So 1090, I don't think I'll get a crash. But we might see some artifacting. Let's find out. Actually, to be honest, I don't think it's actually using what I'm telling it to. Eat. What I'm telling you, I just got one artifact apparently. Where did where, the GPU go? I don't know if it's actually going lower. Actually, now it's going as low as 1030. Yeah, see, I'm getting some artifacts now. So, 1090 was not good enough. So, for example. We look at where did GPU thing go? We're going as low as 1050 on here. That's what that was reading. So if I bring this back up to let's say let's say 1100, should get 1060 I guess. So it's actually going 40 lower. So yeah, as you can see, uh, 1090 millivolts was not stable. I got a few artifacts after about 30 seconds, but it wasn't right away. So maybe it's stable at 1100 millivolts, but I had to run it for about an hour. And then maybe also try some games and whatnot and see if I have any issues. But it seems actually pretty okay at about 1000. So yeah, I'm just going to end it here. So, uh, you would probably want to run this for an hour. So let's go ahead and try something else now. So let's bring this back to stock, which is 1150. So I can only go about as low as, what was it? Was 1090 giving me artifacts? I think so, right? Or was it 1080? can't remember now. So 1000 was the lowest I was able to go. And I was only able to save like 10 watts on that. So the question would be is how high can I uh, overclock to? That's what we're going to do next. So we're going to bring that back to 1150 milliwatts so we can get a slightly higher uh, overclock on it. So I know last time I was getting artifacts at like 1480 when running heaven and it didn't crash until I hit 1500. Well I'm not getting any artifacts right away so I'm going to bump it up. Oh, it's not telling me I'm getting any artifacts right away. It might take 30 seconds. I might get one or two. So let's bump it up again. So this is where I'm expecting it to crap out.
Mind you, the when I was doing this before, my GPU fans weren't going as as high on the other BIOS. It was only going like 27%. Now it's running at 44. So it might be a little more stable considering the fan speed is a little higher. And I'm not getting any artifacts right away here, so I'm kind of getting a little scared here. I don't want it to crash. That would be bad. Try 1490, I guess. I'm going to give it two seconds here for it to, to cool down. What are we at? 40, that's saying 48C. What is this saying? Oh, the temperatures are pretty low, though, but our fan speed's pretty high. It's kind of loud. Alright, so we're reading 1490? Yeah, we're reading 1490. I kind of don't want to take it any further. I don't any artifacts here. I have a feeling we're going to crash before we get any artifacts. I hate to do this, but 1500. Alright, hopefully we don't get a crash. Oh, one artifact. In the first 5-10 seconds, we got only one. Yeah, and then and then then three. Just just the moment I exit out of that. So yeah, so we can't hit any higher than fifteen hundred on eleven fifty millivolts. So let's try something a little interesting. Let's try putting it at fourteen seventy. Let's do fourteen eighty, and then we'll drop this to eleven thirty. So we drop the voltage. So 1500 was my highest, so we'll do 1480, and let's see how low we can get the volts on 1480. Mm, no artifacting right away. So let's try, let's try 1000. I might crash it. I hate to, I'm getting kind of lazy here now. 1100. Oh, yeah, artifacting right away. I'm going to close that right out because I don't want to crash. Okay, so that was right away artifacting a bunch, like a bunch. So I closed the program right away. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yep, artifacting. Okay. I like this program. This is easy. This is really easy. 1120, run tests. So no artifacts right away. So if this is stable, I'd recommend you run this for an hour. Oh, there's one. So yeah, so obviously not, not stable. So I'd say maybe we can get 14, let's say 14, I'll go with my original, 1470 was my highest when I did it by eye, and 1130. So I'd run that program on an hour on these settings. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 1450 and this at 1130. Well at 1130 we were, actually at 1450 we were able to go as low as 1000, but I'll leave it at 1130 for now. We want to Actually we'll leave it at stock, we'll leave it at stock voltage. So now let's do memory. This is going to be where it gets interesting. So I'm just going to take this straight to 2000 because that should it should easily do that. And we'll leave it on automatic for now. So it's reading as 2000 memory. So hopefully this is a good program for memory testing. Oh, my, mind you, uh, I totally did not mention this. Seems pretty stable. There's other things you can do here. There's OpenGL, Vulkan. Those are Fearmark, and then you got Testmark. Or you can do Combined. 
which you do I think test mark is testillation this yeah these are testillation bench uh, so yeah I'd recommend you probably just do the combined actually is probably what I should have been doing actually let's do that one right now I'll show you that right now so here's the combined test so you see it's a little different and it still can scan for artifacts but see the open GL thing is working just fine for me so we're just gonna go back to that for now but I recommend you try out on the the other ones as well testillation and the combined so you can see right there on the combined uh, you know what? Actually, since we're overclocking memory, I might, I might, I might leave this on combined because maybe it does something with the memory. So you know, what? I'll leave it on combined for now. I think that's a good idea. So let's try uh, 2050. So we'll leave it on combined because it might have something to do with maybe the memory as well. No artifacts right away. Now I did leave the millivolts on auto, but I don't even think it lets me change it. Yeah, nothing right away. Before I was at this clock speed or even underclocked, I should be able to get as high as 2150. Let's try 2100. No artifacts right away. Alright, uh, 2150. Oh, it lagged right there. No artifacts right away. Now, of course, if you want to make sure it's stable, you run for an hour. But I want to hit our ceiling first. Do 2180. And this is basically free performance. And then like the two games I played, overclocking the memory has a bigger impact on, on your frame rate than probably uh than the uh, the clock speed. I actually haven't been paying attention to the frame rate. Now the frame rate is different because this is a different test. So I haven't really been paying attention if the frame rate has been going up at all. So 2200 in that uh, super position benchmark, 2200 would not work. So hopefully this is the same. Now at 2200, I'm going to give this one 30 seconds. Hmm. Not getting anything. Of course, you would want to run this for an hour. Let's, let's try the op just, just open GL. Let's go back to this. Hmm, nothing right away. Oh, my my fan speed is really getting up there. All right, twenty two twenty. Then again, I was able to to run uh, what was it? Uh, Time Spy and Fire Strike at twenty two fifty. Is that artifacting? What is, what is, what's going on here? Why is that black? Is that supposed to be black? Maybe it doesn't scan memory errors. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that's it. Go back to this. I mean, nothing right away. Memory is harder to do. I f actually that's actually the thing. When I was doing memory, I 
I didn't see any artifacting. I just got crashes when I went too high. You know, fuck it. We're just going to do, you know, no. Do 2230. I was going to do 2250, but let's just play it safe. Saying 2230, I'm not getting any artifacts right away. Hmm. All right, 2250 it is. That's the highest I can take this graphics card. Then again, remember, I was able to run Time Spy and Fire Strike with 2250. Apparently on this program it's not working good. I'm not it seems to not be I bet you if I ran that superposition benchmark, it'd crash, and I'm not going to do that. So I, I know for a fact it's not. See, like, why is this getting a black screen? Oh, yeah, that's a crash. That's a crash. I got my first crash. Okay, so yeah. Let's back this back down to 2150, because I know that should be... So yeah, that was a crash. So yeah, I guess the reason why it, it was giving me that blackness, it wasn't coming up as an artifact down here. Oh, I don't got artifact checker on. It wasn't coming up in the artifact checker. Oh, when you turn artifact checker on, this thing doesn't move anymore. So yeah, let's let's try 2200 again cuz wasn't I getting a black screen? Or slightly black screen? 2200. You know, wasn't coming up as any artifacts. I don't know. I I think when I went to 22 something it was getting black right here. All right, 22 20 And this is where I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'm not getting that black thing again. Let's just say 2150, though. So you'd run that for an hour and see if that's stable. So that's what I think would be stable. So I don't think it's going to let me touch the voltage. I don't think it would be safe to touch the voltage. So you can see right now we're getting what, 170, no crashes, no artifacts on the scanning. So let's see if this lets me actually lower this. We'll see if our power consumption goes down. Now even though it's letting me put 860 in, we might not actually be running at 860. Our power consumption didn't go down, so I don't think it's actually lowering the voltage. The memory voltage. And just to prove that, I'll put this as 800. It's keeping it at 900. See, power consumption didn't go down. So it's not letting me touch the memory voltage. An MSI Afterburner doesn't have, from what I know, doesn't have a memory voltage. Like, I could, on MSI Afterburner, I could force you know, the voltage. So that's basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. So yeah. So I was able to get to, uh... I was able to get to... Let me bring up Watt... Where's Wattman? So I was able to get to, now obviously out later today I'm going to run some stability tests, but 1340 I was able to go as low as about 980, I believe what it was. So let's see if that is stable, or about 1000. And then at 1244 when I underclocked it, I was able to go as low as, what was it, 900, 880, something like that. It won't let me go lower than 900 on here. So about 900, and then at 1450, you know. 
it did let us go as low as a thousand but I don't think that's actually stable if I ran that for an hour I don't think I would actually get a thousand I think 1130 was my stable and then for memory it did look like anything higher than 2200 is not stable so I think we could actually hit that 2150 so before we go let me just go ahead and show you the numbers so right now we're running stock so let's do uh... you wanna do heaven mmm... I kinda wanna give you a benchmark but I don't wanna wait that long yeah we'll, do, we'll just do heaven cause it loads really quickly we're just gonna do whatever fps we get in the first ten seconds so I'm not going to do any benchmarks because I'm kind of lazy right now. We're just going to do the first 10 seconds. Uh, oh. Where's my... Uh, okay, so we got FPS up in here in the, in the top right. Saying about 86 to 90 is what we're currently getting. And this is at stock. So I want to switch the screens and we go up to about 115. So, if I were to try my save power consumption thing, actually, let's just get the free performance first. Oh, why is that at, wait, reset. Yeah, why was that at 1250? Oops. Let's run that again. Okay, so yeah, our FPS went up a little bit. About 92. 90. And then when it switches screens, I just want to see how high it goes. So during this scene, still about 115. So let's go ahead and get our free performance. So let's bring this to 2150 because this does not increase power consumption. And I forgot to look at the power consumption. Sorry. Let's run that again real quick. Just two seconds. Because increasing the memory is free performance and doesn't increase the power consumption. So, oh my, is my, is MSI open? Oh, that's another thing. I don't have MSI open right now. Can I? I don't think I can run MSI now when it's already started. So let me uh, put MSI Afterburner on. Okay, so now when I hit, because I have the overlay thing on. Uh oh, that don't look right. There we go. So right now we're at stock. And we're using about 140 watts right now at the very beginning. 145. We'll go 145. So when we up the memory, we're going to get free performance and no power consumption increase. So now we'll bring this to 2150. Because I assume that's our. Uh, and we'll make sure. Oh, I forgot to up the power limit. Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, well. We'll just make sure that it's that it's up from now on. So memory should be higher now. So in the top right, there are, actually FPS didn't go any higher. And according to MSI, we're getting about 90 right here. It's actually a little easier to read on the MSI thing. But you can see our wattages are pretty much mostly unchanged. And right here we should get up to 115 yeah so actually in this in this benchmark uh actually was i supposed to hit the x on that well, i guess that x is out as well so we didn't get actually any fps by increasing the memory so let's undervolt this just to actually no let's leave it at 1340 for now, now what would i say about a thousand So let's see how much lower our power consumption is, and by undervolting, let's see if our FPS goes down two or three notches.
Okay, yes, you can definitely see a huge decrease in power consumption. Now, Heaven is kind of similar to what I get in Vermintide. So before we're getting, what was it, 135, 125? Actually, I kind of forgot. Oh, it was 145. So, wow, we're already a, a lot lower. Like, a lot lower. About 105, I would say. So that's like, that's like 40 watts just right there. And that's at 1340, so that's very good. So I'm actually glad about that. Saving those 40 watts is very, very important. But if I want to save a little more, now last time we were able to get to 900, so I'm already, I already know how low this is going to go. It's going to, it's going to go to 90 watts. So we can only, so we only save about 15 watts if I underclock it to 1244. Who knows? Maybe it might actually not be 90. Pretty sure it'd be 90. Uh, jumping up a little bit. It's probably because of those other states. I gotta change the states on those other ones. And at 1244, yeah, our FPS did go down like five frames. But I'm saving up to about 15, to another another 15 to 20 watts. T 10, 10, 15, 20, somewhere in that range. That's jumping up though. That might be because of those other states. So that's nice. It only lost about five frames. So I rather I rather save the extra wattage than get the five frames, unless you really need the five frames. Like if you're only getting like 40 frames in a game or 30 frames, then you're gonna need the five frames. But if you're getting well over like 50 or 60, the five frames then ain't gonna matter too much. So let's overclock this to 1450 and bring this to 1150. So remember at stock we were getting uh. 145 watts. So when I overclock, I have to have a higher millivolts. And the overclocking uh, on stock, you saw we were getting about 90 FPS. So I bet you I'm, I'm not gonna get a whole lot more FPS. Okay, we got five. We got getting five more frames. And I think actually at 1340, it was using the same millivolts. So actually our wattage is the same. So if I'm gonna overclock this. I might as well not leave it at 1340. I might as well leave it at, uh, yeah, so before we get 115 here, now we're getting like 120 at that part, at the beginning part of that part. But the wattage didn't go up. So that's good. So yeah, I don't think I would leave it at 1340. I'd bump it up to 1450 if I want the extra performance because it's using the same wattage. But, but actually, but we're only able to go down as 1100. That's that's the problem. That's that's the major butt. Heck, I don't even know if 1100 is actually stable though. I'd have to run the stress test for like an hour to make sure that it is. Maybe saving another 10, 15 watts. It's jumping up a little bit, but about yeah, about 130 now, so about 15. But you can see once we undervolted it, we lost those like five frames. Sort of. Not really ish. So yeah, I wouldn't leave it at 1340. I'll just overclock it. But you saw when we we're at 1340, we decreased it to what? What was it? Like a thousand? We're able to get the the wattage all the way down to to like 105. So I'd still rather have it on 1340. 1450 because I can kind of care less about the five frames and then I'd rather have it at 1244 because I can care less about the five frames but if you're getting really low FPS in a game that's the only time I'm gonna overclock so if I'm playing like a really hard to run game and I'm only getting like 40 frames or 35 I'm gonna need those five frames so that's about it that's all I really wanted to show you in terms of that so thank you for watching.